It's not every day that Lamborghini debuts a new flagship supercar, so today is special. We had just over a decade with the Aventador, and now its successor is finally here. Say hello to the 2024 Revuelto, a two-seat supercar that Lamborghini bills as the near future for high-performance motoring. There's plenty of tech in this new car, but if you aren't ready for a world without a bonkers V12 Lambo, trust me when I say you have nothing to fear. Some individuals might be inclined to state that the Aventador has not aged a day since its initial debut in 2011, but the influence of the Murcielago is evident. Upon closer examination of the new model, one will notice that particular design features are intertwined with functionality. The roof, with its double bubble style, has a recessed profile that provides more headroom for the driver and passenger while also directing air to the rear wing. A brand new active rear wing controls downforce and drag depending on driving conditions. The hollowed out central section of the rear deck lid channels air to the inverter and electric motor. Special ducts cool the rear brakes and the front diffuser channels air to the front brakes. The Ultima is a well-designed aerodynamic vehicle, but not at the same level as its successor. The predecessor's structure is based on a carbon fiber monocoque with aluminum front and rear frames, and it features carbon fiber and aluminum panels. The Revuelto, on the other hand, takes it up a notch or two with a lighter monocoque referred to by Lamborghini as the mono fuselage. The front structure is made of forged composites, while the rear structure remains aluminum. The mono fuselage and front structure are 10 and 20% lighter, respectively. Lamborghini has also increased torsional stiffness by 25% compared to the Aventador, promising the newcomer best-in-class dynamic capabilities. The Revuelto is expected to hit the market in 2024 and weighs 3,907 pounds dry, which is significantly more than the Aventador Ultima's 3,417 pounds. The weight distribution for is 44-56% while the Aventador Ultima's weight is distributed 43-57%. The plug-in hybrid powertrain, which includes a transmission-mounted electric motor, two additional motors for the front wheels, and a high-voltage battery pack placed neatly in the central tunnel, contributes to the significant increase in weight. Furthermore, the wheelbase has been increased from 106.3 inches to 109.4 inches compared to the Aventador. The overall height, length and rear track have also increased. Significant changes have also been made to the interior of the Revuelto, featuring a portrait-oriented touchscreen infotainment system and a passenger display. Unlike the combustion-only Aventador Ultima, the Revuelto has both screens and a 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster, controlled by a single unit that supports over-the-air updates and Sirius XM 360L in the United States. This new Lambo model features electric torque vectoring, which makes it a different beast in the corners compared to its predecessor. It has a sonorous V12 engine with the L545 moniker, despite having the same 6.5-liter displacement as Lamborghini's second series production V12. Developed by Giotto Bizzarini, the L545 engine puts out 814 horsepower at 9,200 revolutions per minute and 535 pound-feet at 6,750 revolutions per minute, compared to the Aventador's L539, which produces 769 horsepower and 531 pound-feet. The world of supercars and hypercars is constantly evolving, and Lamborghini has just made a major breakthrough. They have achieved Bugatti Veyron level power without relying on a 16-cylinder engine. The new Revuelto blurs the line between the two car types, and its impressive performance is sure to turn heads, even though the Bugatti Veyron still holds the top speed crown. It can reach 62 miles per hour in just 2.5 seconds, thanks to its newly developed engine that revs up to an ear-splitting 9,500 revolutions per minute. 
Lamborghini estimates the top speed to be over 217 miles per hour, which is very impressive by today's standards. By comparison, the more traditional Aventador Ultime offers a top speed of 221 miles per hour and can reach 60 miles per hour in 2.8 seconds. Despite the Ultime's impressive stats, the question remains, would you choose the new Revuelto over the Aventador Ultime, which is powered only by an internal combustion engine?